Exposé can help you cut through the clutter and find things on your desktop fast. Hit the F3 key on your keyboard to activate Exposé. It displays all of the open windows on your Mac, so you can quickly find the one you're looking for. Pressing Command plus the number 1 key arranges the windows alphabetically. And pressing Command plus the number 2 key sorts them by application name. Using Exposé from the dock lets you see the windows of a specific application. So to see all of the open Safari windows, just click and hold on the Safari icon. To see the open Pages windows, click and hold on its icon. Exposé displays the windows in a grid on the desktop. You can view a full-size preview of any window in the grid. Just hover over the thumbnail with the cursor and tap the spacebar. Uh, we have this mode called easel mode, and you notice that when we're in easel mode, the computer literally gets hidden and out of the way. All you perhaps see is this, this wheel, and in this wheel you can turn it to see uh, your uh, web content. Um, um, Software-wise, when you look at our operating system, uh, you'll see that we eliminate all menus, icons, and folders, so all you have is your, is your web content. To navigate between open windows, you may use shortcuts and mouse gestures, or you can zoom out into overview mode. Chrome OS also supports the concept of sidebars. If you don't want your panels to overlap your content, you may easily drag and dock them to either side of the screen. You may have a few programs or documents that you work on all the time. With your favorite documents, or even your favorite playlist, always just a right-click away, it's really easy to do what you need to, right from the bottom of your screen. You can also see an actual image of the document, and choose the one you're looking for, instead of choosing from a list of names. Say you have many windows open on your desktop, but there's one you really want to focus on. You can simply shake that window back and forth and make the other windows just disappear. If you want them all back again, just shake again and your desktop looks the same as before. How many times have you had two things that you want to see at the same time, like to compare one document to another? You used to be able to see windows next to each other, but you had to resize each window and move them around a bit. Now it's easy to see them side by side. All you have to do is grab and drag, and the two windows snap into place. Here's our web browser, but let's launch a few other things so we can see how Continuum manages Windows. Now we're launching a photo editor. The new app slides in from the right, moving the web browser over. Now let's launch a text editor. Navigating through Windows follows a consistent vocabulary of multi-touch. The more fingers you use, the higher the level where they have effect. A single finger manipulates objects inside applications. Two fingers scroll, or pinch zoom, inside applications. So far as you would expect. Three fingers move applications around the application space. Pinching resizes the application. Four fingers scroll the application space. Pinching zooms the entire application space. You can use both hands, too. For instance, you can zoom and scroll the application space with one hand, while relocating a window with the other.